Hey, what is happening, guys? Rules for Rebels here. Just going to be a quick video today about Bitcoin. Uh, Josh Thomas had asked a great question about what happens to your coins if Bitcoin does go through this hard fork that people are talking about. So uh, let me say right off the bat, I'm far from an expert about Bitcoin. My last Bitcoin video that I made addressing the fork issue was kind of more a call to people who are experts to maybe chime in and answer some commonly asked questions. Um, so again, if anybody has a better explanation for this or can better explain this, feel free to drop a comment or if you'd like to come on the channel, I'd love to have you on. Um, but basically, I'm going to give you my understanding of what happens and kind of try to clear up Josh's confusion with what happens to his coins if Bitcoin does go through this, this hard fork. So Josh Thomas said, uh, I'm even more confused. And this is, again, this is in regards to the video I made about what happens if Bitcoin forks. I reached out to some people on Reddit, kind of got the best answers I could and tried to explain it to you guys in the clearest way I could. So Josh says, I'm even more confused. So say my 16 Bitcoins that I bought two months ago was worth 20,000. When Bitcoin Unlimited token is released and say it floats at $2, does that mean my Bitcoin is now worth 16 times $2, $32? Is it better to trade in Ethereum now to limit losses trading under BTC? And even though I'm making money trading alts, I'm losing more because of the weakening price of Bitcoin. Should I pull all my money out now or will things get fixed up? Just don't wanna walk out with $32. Surely someone else is thinking the same thing. So uh, here is my understanding of it. First off, let's toss out dollar valuations to begin with, because I think that overcomplicates the issue. So we'll just look at it in terms of how many Bitcoins you have. For this example, you have, we'll say 10 Bitcoins. Now, if Bitcoin goes through a hard fork, and again, this is my understanding, feel free to clear me up if I'm, if I'm wrong here. Um, Bitcoin splits into BTC, Bitcoin Core, and BTU, Bitcoin Unlimited. Um, assuming your coins are not on a um, exchange like Coinbase, um, which I would recommend everybody take their coins off of Coinbase and other exchanges, not only because of the fork, but just for security in general. Um, but assuming you don't have your coins on Coinbase or another exchange, um, after the fork, you still have 10 Bitcoins, but you now have 10 Bitcoins in each currency. So you have 10 BTC, you also have 10 BTU. Now, we don't know what the price of either of these currencies will be, but let's just say, for example, Bitcoin Core becomes the dominant currency, or the currency that all the exchanges are going to go with. I would think at that point, uh, BTC is probably going to hold its value or maybe go up slightly in value. I suppose it could go down a little bit because of the volatility. But let's say that at the time of the fork, Bitcoin is worth $1,000 just for nice even numbers. So before the fork, you had $10,000 worth of Bitcoins. Now, after Bit, uh, Bitcoin splits um, and we have BTC and BTU, we'll just say for this uh, scenario that Bitcoin Core BTC maintains a value of, we'll say $1,000 per coin. You still have $10,000 worth of Bitcoin Core. Now, Bitcoin Unlimited splits off and that's not gonna be the dominant coin. So maybe the value of that is $130. So again, you have $10,000 worth of BTC, Bitcoin Core. You also have uh, 10 coins valued at $133 each on Bitcoin Unlimited. So in that sense, you've actually made money. I think the more likely scenario would be because of the volatility, because of the fork and kind of the conflict. I would say maybe Bitcoin loses 200 bucks uh, BTC. Um, so your Bitcoin Core is worth $8,000. Um, Bitcoin Unlimited splits off. It's not going to have a huge value. We'll say it's 100 and uh, we'll just say $100 for nice round numbers. So you're going to have $1,000 worth of those. So overall, I think your value in Bitcoins is probably going to remain about the same, although it may be split up between two coins. Uh, getting back to why I suggested keeping your coins off of an exchange, Coinbase and a lot of other exchanges have made an announcement that basically they're going to go with, they're going to shut down trading. And they're basically going to turn your coins into whatever the dominant coin is. So if Bitcoin Core becomes a dominant coin, if I'm not mistaken, if you have your coins on Coinbase, your coins are going to be converted into BTC or are going to stay BTC. And you're not going to be able to take advantage of the um, Bitcoin Unlimited coins. Because again, from my understanding, that's going to be on a different blockchain. Um, if you do want to kind of protect yourself or hedge yourself to potentially have both coins, I would suggest moving them over to a paper wallet, like multi, or I'm sorry, not a paper wallet, a uh, like a desktop wallet, like a multi-bit or an Electrum. A lot of people have questioned whether Electrum will be okay um, because it doesn't download the whole Bitcoin log. From what I've been told, it, it should be. Um, but yeah, I'd suggest keeping your Bitcoins either in a paper wallet, 
uh, or on a software wallet. Uh, is that a software or hardware? Yeah, software wallet, hardware wallet on your computer. Um, so that's my understanding of how the fork is going to uh, going to affect your coins. As far as pulling your money out and putting it in Ethereum, I mean Ethereum is is volatile too. I bought Bitcoin several months back, when, or uh, Bitcoin Ethereum. Uh, I hadn't paid too much attention to it when I noticed that Coinbase was dealing with Ethereum. Um, I wound up uh, picking up a few coins. I think it had just it had either just forked or there was you know it was volatile because of talk of the fork. So I bought in at I don't know 13 bucks, thinking that I was getting a discount because it was at 15. I mean I think it wound up going down to eight. I didn't check on it for months. The next thing I knew it was at like 28, then it was 39. I think it's been up to upwards of like $50 recently. Um, but again, I think I think Ethereum was at like 54 bucks the other day in like a day or two, it dropped back down to $38. So, I mean, all these cryptocurrencies are volatile. Um, kind of my plan, what I'm planning on doing is keeping some Bitcoins for the long term, say about 10 coins. Um, I was getting kind of greedy and holding on to all my coins thinking we're going to the moon, we're going to the moon. Uh, but time and time again, we see that Bitcoin crashes back down. Typically, it quickly recovers. This time, it seems to be taking a little bit longer to recover. Uh, but my, <clears throat> it's kind of funny. My business partner has been telling me, hey, man, like he doesn't buy Bitcoins. He doesn't trade in Bitcoin. So it's easy to, as an outsider who doesn't have any money invested, make comments. But he keeps saying, man, this seems like it keeps falling down and coming back up. Why don't you start selling these things and actually taking some profits instead of just sitting on these same coins and going from 800 to 1200 and 800 to 1200 and not capitalizing along the way. So uh, basically my plan, I got a weekly $25 buy set up. I'm gonna keep 10 Bitcoins at all times for the long term. And uh, as we kind of progress along, <clears throat> I'm gonna be buying on the dips and selling on the peaks and making some money swing trading along the way. So that's kind of how I'm planning on, uh, on moving forward. Uh, curious to hear what you guys think. Josh, feel free to comment on here. Uh, since we're addressing kind of your question and things like that. Hopefully that clears up the, uh, the thing about what happens to your coins. If anybody can give a clear answer, feel free to drop a comment or if you want to come on the channel and, and explain it even better. Um, and as far as like moving over to Ethereum or Dash, I mean, I, I'm starting to accumulate some Dash and some Ethereum. Um, but, you know, I, I still think Bitcoin has a name recognition. I still think Bitcoin's a big coin. And it's not as if I'm going to be, you know, divesting from Bitcoin into others. Because at the end of the day, they're all risky. And I think Bitcoin has the longest term track record and is the biggest name, uh, the most well-known name. So that's my thoughts, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button below. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow morning for Side Hustle Episode 5. Uh, got a great episode. Going to be talking about a guy who did a true $100 startup, bought a $100 microphone and made over eight grand with it and is continuing to make money. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Have a great night and I'll catch you on the next one.